Are you feeling a little bit overwhelmed? Do you feel like you just don't have enough money to do the prepping that you want to do? Is the checkbook just running a little bit dry because of the pandemic? Are you really looking for ways to try to get around things and try to make sure that you have some supplies put up for a hurricane or any type of a natural disaster, unrest, or anything like that? Then today on Survival Preparedness for Beginners, this video is for you. This will be a short, sweet little video, but I want to get this point across. I've had a lot of comments on my channel on a lot of different topics and everything else. And it seems to me that there seems to be a lot of people out there that are in, basically on a restricted budget. They really don't have a lot of money. They're trying to figure out ways to make sure that they're ready. They want to be ready. They want to be prepared. But they're having a very hard time doing it because the money just isn't there. So what I'm going to tell you is you can watch a lot of channels. You can watch a lot of my videos and any, any channel you want to watch. And a lot of these people, you know, they always show you all like some of the new and upcoming products and everything, and which are usually very expensive. Sometimes you run across some good deals. But in the end, you have to really sit back and see what you can do to help put those supplies that you need in your home, in your fingertips, so that you're ready and you're prepared. Now, what I would really suggest for people is, a lot of people can't go out and afford Duracell batteries. Go to Dollar General or Dollar Tree, I should say, Family Dollar, and buy them in there. Yes, they're a buck a pack, but you can get all kinds of batteries and everything else in there. You can get flashlights and everything. Now, granted, they're not the top of the line thing, but I guarantee you that those batteries will last you through at least one hurricane season. And you're getting them for a buck. There's a lot of things that you can get in Dollar Tree and Family Dollar for your preps to help you be prepared. They sell canned goods. They sell sewing kits. They sell emergency stuff. They sell band-aids. They sell peroxide, rubbing alcohol, bleach. They sell all different types of stuff, and it's only a buck. So if that is the way that you have to do it, that is what you have to do. I don't want people out there to be deterred away because they think they have to have the best. The best isn't always what you can afford, but having stuff in your home, at your fingertips, ready to use and get you through an emergency situation is key, folks. So don't get discouraged on if you can't afford buying the top of the line gear, buying all this freeze dried foods and everything else. You have to do what you can afford to do. You know what your budget is. But like I said, you know, hit up like Dollar Tree, Family Dollars. Maybe if you like garage sailing, maybe hit some garage sales. Man, you, you never know what you find in the garage sales. And sometimes you can pick it up dirt cheap. Hit Goodwill. Goodwill is another great place to go and look for survival supplies and gear and things of that nature. You never know what you're going to find. But there's ways to do this. And I don't want people out there to get discouraged not knowing how to do this and trying to get all the big name ticket items that they see people talk about and everything else. Because in the end, the stuff that you can get from Dollar Tree and Family Dollar it could save your life when the time comes. So I want to bring a, just a quick video. I wanted to get that message out there because like I did say, I'm getting a lot of comments and I don't want people to get discouraged because they can't afford the top of the line gear. The key is you get the gear you can afford, make it work, make it last as long as possible to get you through the storm. So here on Survival Preparedness for Beginners, we thrive to survive. And I'm hoping that this helps out some people and takes away that little thing that you have in the back of your head that you think that you have to have the best. You don't, folks. You have to have something. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And until next time, everybody keep prepping, thrive to survive, and I'll catch you all on the flip side.